Well, take a look around your home this morning. The TV you're watching us on, the fridge, even the dashboard of the car out in the driveway. There's a pretty good chance that some of those electronics come from Korea, a country about the same size as Kentucky, but it has one of the fastest growing economies in the world. And Juju is just back from Korea and has more on this country's amazing advancement. Absolutely, David. You know, today marks the 60th anniversary of the start of the Korean War. And since then, the Korea has soared from one of the 20 poorest countries in the world to one of the richest 20. And lately, the key are these little tiny microchips, the brains behind most consumer electronics. And they are the driving force behind Korea's high-tech overdrive. It's a culture steeped in 5,000 years of tradition. But today, pagodas and palaces have given way to a sea of gleaming skyscrapers. This is Seoul, the world's most wired wonderland. There are so many pioneering things going on here in Korea. 95% of households in South Korea boast broadband internet connection, compared to 60% in the U.S. I'm on it 24-7. And everyone's really obsessed with the most recently released internet gadget. Seoul is a high-tech city dotted with digital screens. They are everywhere, filling over 20,000 internet cafes. And even lining the streets, these are Seoul's new media poles. Large displays offer all kinds of information. Maps, news, movie tickets, even an e-photo booth right on the street. Homes are fully wired too. This is a smart home. Smart homes are sprouting up all over Seoul, offering what's called the ubiquitous life, the ability to control all major household functions in one central system. Open the door. Open the door. Oh, you can make phone calls from here yeah, too? Yeah, phone calls here. Instead of a post-it note, you leave a video yes. message. And let's talk TVs. Two titans of technology, Korea's Samsung and LG, control about 40% of the global flat screen TV market. And both rank in the top five for sales of cell phones. Their secret? You have to be very speedy. Speedy not only in terms of making the decision to enter into that area, but also speedy in terms of making decisions all along the value chain. But competitors still have the edge when it comes to software and design. We're introducing iPhone 4. To take on iPhone, Samsung's Galaxy and LG's Q smartphones recently teamed up with Google's Android software. So armed with prototypes, I set out on the streets of Seoul. First, I set up a coffee date, then paid for my ride right from my smartphone. And by the way, the subways here are all wired too. I can't believe I can watch TV on a subway. My coffee date? Korean megastar actor Lee Byung-hun. Another hot Korean export, leading a wave of Korean stars dominating foreign markets. This is our waiter. Our waiter is a robot named Cafero, being tested out in Seoul's cafes. Other robot sites? 310 kindergartens using the iRobi teacher's aid. And hospitals. But today, we're just ordering coffee. What do you have? We have cafe latte, cafe mocha, <laughs> cafe americano. Two iced coffee, please. Excellent choice. Why do you think Korean culture is a cultural export now? The passion. I think it influenced everything, like art, like acting, of course, high tech. You must get mobbed all the time. We got here. Mobbed with a high tech response, a trip to the mall turns into a photo, video, and live streaming production. This happens to you everywhere? Actually, I don't go out. <laughs> <laughs> A sea of fully wired teens coming of age ahead of its time. It's really fascinating. I'm sort of curious though, with all the electronics, does it help to isolate people or, or sort of bring them together? Well, it is isolating, obviously, and that's the one downside of all the success. There are an estimated two million internet addicts in South Korea in a country of just 49 million. The culture ministry is actually working with gaming companies, though, to impose an overnight shutdown for those young, popular games. And I know that you also have the gadgets, but in addition to that, access to the president, a big get. On Monday, we're going to be talking to him. He talks about the heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula. North 
North Korea just announced today there's a no sale zone and they had some belligerent language for the U.S. as well. And Monday, we take you to the demilitarized zone between North and South. It's still one of the most heavily fortified borders in the world. All right. Well, I'll be watching Monday. Thanks, Thanks Juju.